sorry about the delay because you see I also need some maintenance at the moment my control arm is a little bit <laughs> loose my shoulder dislocated a few times this week but we have a lot of work to do like you see the black sheep Philip arrived from Portugal in the Netherlands with this car and it also will need lots of new upgrades like a new roll cage complete air ride system polishing the lips and all that kind of stuff it will go to some very nice events. And we have also a new car in the shop for my friend Jovo. It's a TDI 4x4 uh, Mark IV Golf. Of course, like you see. <laughs> but it will make around 450 horsepower uh, on diesel only. Uh, we need to make some adjustments, some upgrades on the car. And I want to have it ready this Friday because maybe if the weather is decent we will take the car to Germany on an event to make some rips and adjust the software. And we also need to go further on our Mark 3 V6 turbo project. So we already removed the previous turbo and you can already see that the holes from the exhaust manifold they are way smaller. This one, the new turbo is way bigger. We also adjusted the, the lip here. So we don't have any restrictions at all. We also had to make big modifications on the intake or the exhaust manifold uh, to make it way bigger because this is a T3 uh, flange. This is a T4. We even needed to customize the gasket, but yeah man, and see the new detail, we have a billet fuel rail from Donoctan, the oil catch can is mounted and the external mop sensor, the complete intake manifold is ready. So yeah man, bro, if this will not make a 500 horsepower, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> um, the four wheel drive, the rear synchro. Rear beam of the Corrado is also ready to be mounted, but we are very delayed on our parts for the gearboxes. Um, we received it, I think, even two days ago. We ordered it more than one and a half months ago, so you can say it's big shit. But David already is busy with refurbishing the gearbox of the blue VR6 Turbo, the Mark III of Cell Show, because that full motion conversion we will do first, and afterwards we will put the engine back in the white Corrado. So we have a lot to do. For now, it will be mainly finishing up the Mark III VR6 Turbo and our Mark IV project, because in a few days I want the VR6 Turbo back on the dyno, and I want to make some test pulls with the black Mark IV for motion. So guys, I need a little help, <laughs> but we will not stop working. So let's mount the new turbo and work our way further on that engine bay guys. So let's go. some reflective tape on the firewall I think it will make a big difference and we also want to relocate the ECU uh, inside the car but I think we will first take the car on the dyno uh, we need to make some adjustments like the hood pipe because we needed to use a different v-band and if I want to put it directly on the v-band like you see the position of the turbo is a little bit more backwards so the hood exhaust will be not straight up. So what I want to do, I want to curve it a little 
and make like a pizza slice to fill up the gap and I think that will work out fine. Uh, we also need to adjust the intercooler pipe and some wiring because we are going to mount a fuel pressure uh, sensor just to make sure that if the pressure of the fuel will, will lose pressure at some point we can adjust the software so it will go into limp mode to avoid engine problems and I may need to make a wiring loom for the external mop sensor and I think that's about it that are the main things that we need to do we also want to customize and test fit the new front bumper for the wide body front end so we have a huge bumper here um, we'll do it later on but I think we are able to finish the car today um, I will start on the intercooler pipe and the exhaust and yeah, work our way further with the wiring and I cannot wait to take the car on the dyno. After we finish this car, we immediately go further on the black Mark IV TDI for motion. And um, yeah, Philippe is busy with his new roll cage. <laughs> so yeah man, again we have a lot to do. So no time to waste, let's go further with adjusting the hood exhaust and the intercooler pipe. We'll be right back guys, let's go. Today we're going to take the car on the dyno. We even need the car to be on the trailer at this moment. <laughs> so we're already a little bit late. But we made it, the car is finished. I'm very curious because yesterday we had a little bit of a setback. I wanted to change the timing belt of the PD. But we came to the conclusion that it had the, the vibration damper. And I don't like this at all, especially not on a high horsepower PD. So I'm lucky that I have another spare engine that's also from the Golf platform. Because I'm going to change it out for a mechanical uh, timing chain tensioner, or timing belt tensioner. But to change it out, we need to change the back cover, because otherwise you don't have the hole for the mechanical tensioner. So we had a little bit of a setback with that last night but that will be when I will be arriving back at the shop from the dyno so yeah let's drive the car on the trailer go to KC performance and let's make some horses guys <laughs> so guys we arrived at KC performance we already strapped up the car on the dyno and they say three times is a charm right because this will be the third time that we take the car on the dyno we already made all the modifications so we have the external mop sensor and the fuel pressure sensor also made a nice wiring loom with the snake skin and we plugged everything into the ECU so yeah man that means we are ready to go and I hope that we at least can reach the 500 horsepower I think we are going to make a multi-map so we will have a street map with 400, 450 and yeah, we will just see how far we will come. I think I'm more confident than last time, but I know these engines are very hard to breed. It's a 12 valve engine, but I know that these engines are capable of easy making 500 horsepower. So we will see what will happen. 
fingers crossed guys let's make some red downgrading a lot on pressure on when it's speed. from five bars of boost the pressure the fuel pressure will be going down to almost one bar so we we already have the Walbro 450 the high pressure pump inside the original housing but what we think maybe that the return of the fuel is not yeah it's not flowing fastly enough or something we want now to try it again with just the fuel pump loose in the tank and if we can check how much fuel will be going out of coming out of the return line so always something guys yeah let's try it again made the pool and the idea that we had with the fuel we confirmed it so it looks like the car will get enough fuel with the Walbro pump but it's using so much fuel that it doesn't give enough fuel that it isn't giving enough fuel in return so the fuel pressure will be lower so when the car will be like boosting when we reach boost, the fuel pressure will go down. So we made the pool, Frank checked the return line, and indeed, on pressure, like on boost, the return, there was almost no fuel coming out of the return line. So we have another option to do. We have two pumps here, and we need to install a surge tank. So we have a surge tank, so that we will have a surge tank, like one and a half liters, inside the car so the pump and the original fuel tank will pump and fill up the surge tank and from the surge tank the fuel from the surge tank will be used for the engine for the injectors I already started on the Mark 4 project. It needs some TLC, 
The car was already fast, but it needs some upgrades to bring it to the next level and maybe even break some Netherlands records, right? I already started with the external fuel cooler because I think the car really needs it. Cooler fuel will mean more efficiency power-wise in the engine and we also will mount an external oil cooler. Um, and we took the radiator and the intercooler uh, from, from the car because look at the difference in size. The car has two and a half inch intercooler piping, but the intercooler, it's a fully alloy package. It's a nice kit from dark side, but the, the intake is like, or the connectors from the intercooler are 55 millimeters outside. So we bought another one. You can really see the difference already. This is 70. This one has 70 connectors. So I think that will also will make a big difference because that intercooler was a real restriction, guys. Uh, we also mounted an external, another external uh, fuel filter and we will adjust the inside pump to an external pump, four bar pump. <coughs> It's all about the little things, right? This car needs some TLC, we need to button it up, and I think even today or tomorrow, we're going to test drive this car. Um, yeah, man, I'm already excited about this, for sure. We're going to make some rips outside and tune the software with my friend from Smoke Remaps. So yeah, man, let's go further on the car and finish this thing, man. So we installed the external fuel cooler and also the intercooler system is back together. I'm very happy that we get rid of those restrictions that we had with the previous intercooler because this big connectors with the two and a half inch intercooler piping will make a big difference. But also I'm sure with the fuel cooler and the external pump, a bigger a bigger pump, three and a half bars. We just mounted it temporarily inside of the cabin because this car will get a fuel cell in a very near future. But we just want to test this setup out and check the differences in time. But guys, it's very crowded with projects. We are already starting in the meanwhile on the formation conversion of the VR6 Turbo, the Blue Gold. Um, so the the 4x4 gearbox is already installed and I think even today we're going to mount the engine back in the car. The Corrado is just on pause for right now, the Golf from Philip, and I also want to work today on the yellow VR6 Turbo. I have to search tank already on the location that I wanted to be, but I thought about another option that I quickly want to double check. So. It is very strange that when we had full boost, the fuel pressure was going way down. We also didn't even have almost none of uh, fuel from the return line. So I was really thinking like maybe it is even a possibility that the fuel pump will not get enough voltage or something while pooling with the car. I don't know. I'm not sure about it even, but I just want to double check with the multimeter or even make a, a standalone wiring from the battery in the car because it's, the battery is like in the middle of the car mounted inside. So I don't know, I don't know. I just want to double check that the pump will get enough voltage. If that will not be our problem, we need to install the search tank and take the car outside to do some more testing or on the dyno. But it made like 460 horsepower. And I think the rest of fine tuning we can do on the streets. Um, so yeah, man. Guys, I'm a little bit tired because three projects going on at the same time now. I want to have this car ready, the Mark III or the Mark IV ready today to make some rips outside. And I also want to make some rips with the yellow Mark III VR6 Turbo. 
Um, to give you guys an update or some info about the VR6 Turbo for motion swap, it will be a, another video, a separate video that I will upload within days. Like I said, I had a little bit of a delay with my shoulder. It's already getting a little bit better. So yeah, we need to shift to second gear and make more progress. <laughs> because it, you, it's not that we have nothing to do here, right? So yeah, man. Let's button up the last stuff and let's take that car outside to make some test pulls. Let's go. Change in plans, going to remove the original fuel tank. <laughs> <laughs> outside with the VR6 turbo and I can say it's not good at all. I was looking at the laptop at the same time and I saw that on pressure it went to 1.2 bars of fuel pressure. So that's not good at all. So Frank and Jovan are already busy with the surge tank. So we are going to use two pumps, two pumps and put it in a 1.5 liters surge tank. And I think that will solve our problem. It's very strange because we are running a Walbro 450 high pressure pump inside the tank. We are also using the original uh, eight millimeter hoses, but it was supposed to be good enough. So I think with the search tank, it will solve the problem. Philip is busy inside the Mark IV because we tried, yeah, you cannot see it really. Nothing now, right now, but we removed the original, oh shit, we removed the original tank um, because it does not really working with just removing the original inside pump and use the, yeah, we wanted to adjust the original pump housing and we decided to just put the fuel cell in the car. <clears throat> cell Shell is also preparing the VR6 turbo engine for the 4x4, it's already Look. as good as finished to put in the car. Look. Yeah, L quick sneak peek for the next video. Yeah, man. So yeah. Cell show playing with the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, man, we are very, very busy. Michael is even removing a 1.8 turbo from a scrapped car. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. I hope that we can take the Vier 6 turbo on the dyno again on Monday or even fine tune it on the street because I can look at the logs, of course. But this search tank will solve the problem. Um, while Philip is removing some brackets for mounting the fuel cell, I will be buttoning up the last parts in the engine bay. Yeah, like this one, external fuel pump from a BMW. Don't tell anyone, but <laughs> it 
it does the job very, very well on the PD engine. So yeah man, let's go further and let's hope that we at least can make some rips tonight or otherwise tomorrow with the 4x4 TDI. Guys, let's go. Capacious Joe. night camera adjusting camera adjustments <laughs> yeah you want to go hard or not Joan? yeah you want to go fast secret ingredient <laughs> Welcome back the day after we made some pools yesterday and it went all right but Tiago from Smoke Green Maps already changed the map again it was supposed to be even faster than yesterday and we did some changes on the fuel cell we mounted the pump inside the car and the lines underneath this is way better than how it was yesterday 
it was just temporary for testing but I think this will work out much better so let's wait till the flash is installed and make some pulls again let's go video you could say first we switched the setup of the vr6 turbo went on the dyno we have still some little things to do to button up but we already see the gain in horsepower and this car has some real potential we have to install the search tank and then fine-tune the car and also the mark 4 tdi also performs very well we did the upgrades, the new map, and I'm very, very happy with the results. 2.9 bars of boost, guys. Or 4, 3.9. Holy shit. Yeah, we are going to give the car more upgrades. That will be for our next video. We're going to clean the engine base some more. Going to make a bigger intake pipe, Lexan windows, uh, remove the heater core from the car. Um, yeah, still a lot to do. The 22th of this month will be the drag race event here in the Netherlands, so... But, yeah man, and also even the VR6 Turbo with the 4Motion gearbox is already back in the car. Yeah. It's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. I appreciate you guys watching the whole video and... Yeah man. Very happy with... All the followers, all the nice comments that I always get, so really appreciate it. So I see you guys in the next video. Feel free to subscribe, leave a nice comment below. See you guys in the next one, man. Ciao!